So I can use uh, these things called media queries to adjust uh, my website based on what size of device is viewing it. Um, and I can change how divs sit next to each other or the size of various elements or other features um, by detecting what width the person who's viewing my site um, is accessing it through. So I have a little site set up here. I've got my viewport set with initial scale to one, um, like we've been doing with our responsive sites. I have two divs on my page. They just have a little bit of text in them. And I have a style defined for this, these divs. They both have the same class. Um, they've got a width of 90%, a little border, um, a margin of auto, so they'll center on the page, a background color of aqua. I've given them a margin and a padding just to sort of space them out a little bit. And if I view them in my website, um, they look like this right now. Um, so the first thing I want to show you is um, there's a handy dandy thing in the developer tools of Chrome if you access under more tools and developer tools um, you can click on this little icon up here that looks like a little mobile device and a tablet and it will show you um, what this looks like on various devices so I've got it rotating to landscape right now let me put it back to portrait mode and I've got this on a Nexus 5. Let's go with like a Galaxy S5. Okay. So on a mobile device, um, it would make sense if my skin is my screen is skinny, especially in portrait mode, that these things not try to cram next to each other if they had a lot of text or a lot of features inside them. Um, that would not be cool on a phone. But if I am viewing it on something much larger, um, like an iPad, and that thing is actually in landscape mode. Um, then I have a lot more room and things could technically sit next to each other. Um, so the idea with media queries is you start with loose um, and not protected with a query at all, the styling that you want when you're on the smallest device or mobile phone. So I'm going to let my style rules that I've defined here be the ones that go for mobile. Okay. And then what I can do is I can pick up and um, basically overwrite the pieces of this style that I want to if I find a smaller, a bigger device. So to start a media query, um, it's the at sign and then the word media. Um, there's a lot of optional things you can put in um, for right now in this demo. I'm just going to pick up screen sizes. So I'm going to say if I'm using something and the min width that the person is looking through is 400 pixels, then I'm going to change up the style that is being applied to my div. So again, I'm writing another style rule. Notice it's nested inside a set of curlies. This curlies um, control the media query. And then inside here, um, let me just start by changing the background color so you can see how it changes um, what the page looks like. So if the minimum width of the device viewing my site is 400 pixels, so 400 and above, um, then it's going to switch the background color of those divs to coral. So let's see if that looks right. Okay. So right here on my Galaxy S5, um, my width is showing as 360. Um, really all I have to do to change and test this is to rotate it. Okay, so I'm in landscape. Now the width of the device is 640. So you see my background color change because my media query picked up um, that 640 is at least um, 400 or bigger, and it picked it up. Okay. Um, another thing I might want to do is if I've got this much room, I might want to put things next to each other. Um, so I can actually change other properties, not just background color. Maybe I can change their widths to be uh, like 45% each, and perhaps I want them to float next to each other. Uh, so let's see what that looks like. Refresh my page. So now these guys are sitting next to each other. If I rotate it back, they are now um, vertically. And you don't have to mess with these numbers and percentages and everything to make it look how you want. But that is the general idea. Um, now, I might want to have even a third look if I want a laptop to, to control different. So I can actually set another bound for this and say, and max width is, let's say, 800 pixels. Um, and then I can have a second media query rule for above that, so 801 pixels. Um, then I'll have a different rule. So perhaps, let's see. Maybe these guys, I won't actually change um, them to sit next to each other. I'll just change the color, just so you can see this. Let's change this to uh, blue. OK. 
Okay, and then here we'll have them float next to each other. Okay, let me go back in here. Refresh the page. Okay, so there is my smallest one. I've got aqua and they're on top of each other. I rotate this, so I'm at 640, which is between 400 and 800, and I am showing coral, so that's the media query rule for that taking over. And then let me get out of devices, so I'm just on my regular computer. So here's my regular computer. Um, the width of this is registering as uh, more than 800, because my computer is a 4K machine, and it is showing them next to each other with blue, which is my last media query. Um, so the idea is first design the, the actual mobile phone, then think of the next bigger device and the next bigger device, and you can keep changing your styles. Um, and you can change multiple things, so I could, if I had like a bunch of different stuff in here, I could continue to write CSS to control those things. Um, and that way I can customize my site for different devices um, without actually having different like HTML files or something.